Hello, in our previous video we talked about sending uh, one character uh, from ESP32 to the scope. In this video we will use uh, the same program on one ESP and we will send one character to another ESP. So actually we are going to concentrate how we receive one character uh, from one ESP to, to another ESP32 via RS232 uh, connection. As always, uh, we will start from the expressive documentation, which is the same page as previous, which, is, which talk about the UART, and here it's a very good explanation about all the stages uh, of defining the RS-232 connection, setting the pins and so on. And on the basis of this example, we constructed the following file, which you can see here, FreeRTOS ESP IDF receive, RS-232 receive. We copied this file to our editor and, um, and uh, we'll work with it. Before we dive into the code, uh, I'll talk about a few things. First, what we are sending. We are sending character A, uh, which on the scope looked like this and was explained in the previous video. And we're using the same program to transmit it from ESP32. Uh, our pinout is as follows. This is our transmitter and this is our receiver where we transmit uh, the data via TX0 and we will receive it in RX0. Regarding the pinout and the uh, TX and RX uh, groups you can see in the following charts we are talking about TX0 and RX0 and the group number is very important and have to be specified in the code and here we have a specific pin numbers of the ESP board that I use um, okay now, uh, one another thing is regarding the ASCII table. We will use the following ASCII table where A is decimal number 65. So, if we are talking regarding the A character, we will expe expect receive decimal number 65. Okay, now let's go to the code. We will go over the code and uh, the last statement I wrote here, this is A in decimal in, in, in decimal and in binary. And we will run the code and see how it works. Okay, now the one ESP, the receiver, is compiling the code. And uh, the, co the transmitter is not connected yet. Please note the data we, we receive uh, some uh, some characters that uh, it's uh, th that in our memory, which are not the character that we are supposed to receive. Now I will connect the uh, as the ESP32 the transmitter, which is running the code from the previous video. Strangely enough, it uh, resetted my uh, ESP and you, here you can see that the previous data is now receiving the characters that were intended, 65, A, capital A. Uh, now I will disconnect the transmitter, the ESP32, which is a transmitter. Okay, now it's disconnected. And we still have the same number in the memory, 
but in different occasions when it is connected you can uh, receive different characters or the memory will be changed accordingly uh, according to the memory needs uh, arbitrarily now let's go, go over the code and see how how, how it was composed oh, it, it's all the same includes we define the buffer size and the group zero transmitter and receiver like in the previous video uh, the number of transmitter receiver is very important you can see here it's one and three how we got those numbers from this chart you can see the transceiver for group zero is gpio one and the receiver for group zero is gpio three those numbers and not the pin numbers are specified here in the UART definitions. Uh, I performed the variable definitions a uh, very explicit way, like in the in the uh, original documentation, in order to add uh, some clarity. For example. UART number is UART number uh, zero group, this one, not the second group and not the first group, zero group. Uh, uh, the buffer size is uh, um, 2000, for example. Uh, we define the queue and we define all those parameters to initiate proper uh, RS-232 connection. Here we combine the UART config, this one, to the UART number, to the group number, define the pins according to this chart, and uh, install the drivers. All those stages are explained in the original uh, expressive documentation. In this program we have only one task, we print the first statement and then uh, initiate and run one task. This task is receiving data where here you have a basic definitions of the variable where the data is the variable that we want to receive the data, the, the actual data. Uh, other uh, variable defines the length of the queue and the length of the data. Then we read the buffer data length and we read the bytes while we're reading the the bytes the data is actually inserted here and we will print it out and as you can see we received number 65 which is uh, a, a capital a so in this uh, program we demonstrated the reception of one character via rs 232 uh, serial communication. Thank you.